All right, now Congress has attacked Modi on electoral bonds. Congress's Gaurav Gogoi says electoral bonds is nothing but legalized extortion and formalized kickbacks like demonetization. The scheme has been designed by the office of Prime Minister Modi. Prime Minister Modi probably is a major corporate ally who is giving bad advice of the union government. Senior bureaucrats are also scared to speak their mind. The result is that India is on its path to becoming an Asian autocracy. On the details that have been given by the Election Commission as far as the electoral bonds are concerned, the Congress has attacked Prime Minister Narendra Modi talking about the electoral bonds. The Congress says that this is in fact legalized extortion. Legalized extortion and formalized kickbacks like demonetization. This scheme has been designed by the office of Prime Minister Modi. He probably has a major corporate ally who is giving bad advice to the union government. Senior bureaucrats are too scared to speak their minds as the Congress attacking the Prime Minister. The result is that India is on its path to becoming an Asian autocracy. Amit Bhardwaj is getting us more details on that story this morning. Amit, in fact, uh, the Congress going all guns basing against the Prime Minister, saying that kickbacks have been received. You formalize this or legalize the system of uh, kickbacks and legalize extortion in this fashion is what the data reveals. Uh, true, Sneha, and that is the kind of response we were expecting from the opposition parties. You know, ever since uh, the data was released and... Uh, uh, put in public domain by the Election Commission of India regarding the electoral bonds, it was very much expected that the opposition parties and in particular the Congress party will target the uh, Bharatiya Janata Party and the uh, uh, Prime Minister over this uh, issue of electoral bond. You know, uh, there are two aspects to it. Number one, uh, the Congress party is trying to now pull a narrative, uh, uh, draw a narrative that this was nothing but a legalized format of kickbacks or legalized format of corruption through which kickbacks were coming to the Bharatiya Janata Party and uh, in the day as the day develops uh, what we are expecting is that more and more leaders from the Congress party could actually take that particular line that has been already taken by Gaurav Gogoi the Congress MP. Uh, what is to be seen uh, however Sneha is whether the parties which stand on the number two, number three, number four uh, you know list on the electoral bonds uh, highest beneficiary whether they also choose to attack the government or whether they choose to stay mum. Because remember, after Bharatiya Janata Party, uh, Trinamul Congress is also one of the biggest uh, beneficiaries of the electoral bonds. So we'll have to also see as to whether the India bloc comes together to attack the government on this issue, the Bharatiya Janata Party on this issue, or whether there is selective approach by different opposition parties on the issue of electoral bonds. Back to you. Congress is number three on that list though. In fact, this attack has yes. been made by Congress's... Uh, Gaurav Gogoi, I'm going to thank you Amit for the moment to see uh, how that those developments also play out as far as uh, political statements from various parties on electoral bonds here is concerned.